How's it going guys? It's going off grid. And today we have a new package from Geometry Solar. We're going to give uh, this new inverter a try. He just started building these not too long ago on YouTube. And Geometry Solar has a YouTube channel. And I just got this in the mail. It just showed up about 10 minutes ago. Double boxed it, which is nice. The outside of the box did look fairly rough, but shipping is terrible when you cross borders. Let's see how she looks on the inside. Looks like we got part of the invoice here. Oh boy, this thing does look pretty big. Definitely a lot wider than a, a power jack. Just playing with the button. Okay, let's get this thing out of the packaging and uh, go from there. Well, there you have it. We got the inverter unboxed, and it looks pretty good. I don't think it suffered any damage, which is incredible, because I almost always get everything damaged in shipping. But it's looking pretty good. It's got a fan on the back. It's got a fan on top, right over the transformer. Look at that massive transformer in there. That is pretty big, actually. Holy smokes. This is pretty much, it looks bigger than the 15,000 watt uh, power jack I have. It's got a nice screen. It's got a couple outlets on the front. You got a generator start, and it's got your terminal block. Looks really nice. It's got some nice big terminals. Yeah, let's, give it, let's open this thing up and uh, see what's going on with it. All right, 14 uh, nuts and bolts later, or 10 nuts and bolts, and 14 just self-tapping, or maybe not even self-tapping, but uh, bolts at this just thread into the case itself. I will give them the fact that the case is much thicker. That is nice. It actually doesn't feel like it's going to break. And let's see. We're going to lift this thing off and take a look inside. Wow. Look at this thing, man. Now that's a transformer. It's the size of my hand. I have a fairly large hand. That's a decent sized transformer. Nice thick windings. It looks good. We got filters all over the place. Filters, filters. Got a current sensor. This board does not look anything like the power jack that I have, anyways. That's pretty cool. They got some sort of filter. Oh, they got filters on the ribbon cable lines too. That's pretty cool. So they're trying to clean something up in there. We got a temperature sensor here. We have a temperature sensor on the transformer here. That I actually had to unhook to get the case off. Yeah, I can't wait to try this thing, man. So this is... Okay, so this is... What did this say on it? So one of the lines coming off the transformer. They're actually pretty thick. That's actually, that's pretty cool. And they got insulation on them. The transformer is bolted down well. It doesn't move. Looks like the case is grounded everywhere. It looks like the neutral, or whatever this is, is bonded to the case as well. Oh no, it's not. Never mind. Those are standoffs. My bad. They all got standoffs where they connect to each other. This one actually looks like it got bent a bit. I'm going to have to bend that back down. Uh, yeah, looks pretty good. Nothing crazy to say. The only thing I've seen so far is that this needs to be crimped down a little bit better. I'm going to bend that. Oh, look, there's another temperature sensor on this side of the transformer, too. Wow. So it's got two temperature sensors on the transformer that I can see. Okay. It's got one temperature sensor on, no, it's got two temperature sensors on the, on the, each side of the heat sink too. So it's got one here, it's got one on the other side. So yeah, this looks pretty good. This is the bottom side of uh, the LCD screen and the button. Wow, that button's got a lot of buttons going, or a lot of wires going to it. Got a high speed fan here. Oh boy, that, you can really feel that sucker. Definitely a high speed fan. And this one going on here oh yeah this I was trying to turn this it doesn't turn yeah that also a high-speed fan all right looks pretty good 
Nothing's loose. That's not loose either. No, it looks really good. I wonder if this is the... So 15 amps. Is that just for... Is that just for the receptacles? Yes, it is. It looks like it is. Uh, so there, goes to there, goes into here. Maybe it's not. Maybe it also does this as well. I don't, I'm going to have to look into that better. Anyways, this is just a peek. To see what I will be testing next, I will be hooking this to my house. And my house normally requires at least two magnesite inverters, which are 4,400 watts each. And they can both surge, I think, to around 12,000 or 9,000, something like that. I can't remember. But they can surge a lot. And I used to have one that ran the house. I overheated a few times. So then I bumped the two, and then I started running the dryer. And when I run the dryer and charge my electric car and run everything else in the house, I ended up overheating them again. I think I was pulling, like, out of two, I was pulling 12,000 watts, and they're rated for 8,800 watts. So then I got a third one, and I've never had a problem with three. Uh, that's over 13,000 watts of capability. Uh, but this is going to attempt to run what three runs. So this thing, we'll see how it, how it handles. It's either going to burn up, or it's going to do well, or it's going to do what it should do when it's overloaded. It's going to shut down, go into fault mode. We'll see. And I'm going to run my, I'm not even going to tell my wife that this is running the house. We're going to just literally run it like normal and just see what happens. I'm very curious to see how powerful this is. This is only 6,000 watts continuous, which is very good for like one inverter. But it's definitely not going to be as powerful as three magna signs. But we're going to see how powerful it is. One magna sign is the price of two of these, I believe. Um, maybe a little bit more than two of these, so... If this can compare in any way, it might be a good deal. And we're going to find out, guys. Anyways, I'll see you guys in the next video. Alright, this is going to be the first time fire up. We're just using my power supply, which can provide up to about 400 watts. We have 44 volts. It's not a lot going in, so that will be a low voltage condition. So hopefully it still starts. Let's see if she starts. Look at that. Oh, we looks good. It's cooling down now. Interesting. So you got temperatures. That's back. How do we go back here? Appearance. Here's a bunch of temperatures. Anyways, I gotta figure this thing out. But it turned on. It looks really good. Everything about this thing looks really good so far. I hope it uh, runs as good as it looks, because dang, it looks pretty good. Nice stainless steel, looks nice. Anyways, hope you guys enjoyed the video.